Good evening and welcome to Today with Dr. Wendy. We are delighted that you are joined us. We also have a very important guest today we're gonna to introduce to you in just one minute. But as always, I'm joined by my co-host, Larry Dersham. We are both longtime attorneys. We've seen and done it all, but both of us wondered whether that was in fact true when we read the latest book of our guest, Nancy Grace. Now, Nancy Grace is a woman that doesn't need an introduction. We, everybody knows who she is. You've seen her on television. You've no doubt read some of her, her award-winning books, New York Times bestsellers. And one of the things that I find the absolutely most lovable about Nancy is her personal life. She is raising two adorable twins. She has a wonderful husband. And she also manages somehow to juggle being an award-winning legal journalist, victim's rights advocate, author, headliner. She has her own show, Crime Stories with Nancy Grace, and also has time to join us to do this interview. Nancy, my friend, thank you so much for your time and joining us today. <laughs> well, I shared with our listeners that one of the things I find most impressive about you, Nancy, is you spend so much time talking about all the great accomplishments that other people have achieved, what they've written, what they've done, the cases they've prosecuted, handled, investigated. Is there a case that you've handled in all of the illustrious years you spent as a special prosecutor that stands out to you? Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Right. You know, you know, and the human element, the dynamics, the, the care, compassion, and the instincts that you had in the moment, that's probably one of the things you would remember. What an excellent case. And I love that you shared that example rather than your absolute innumerable wins. In fact, I know you've never lost a felony case. So that is really... Yeah, I know, right? Let's not, let's not jinx it. I wish I could say that, but I couldn't even say that five years in. You know, tempering all that experience, I also know that you executive produce a Hallmark movie and mystery franchise. So you really have seen it all. And you know, my co-host Larry, he has a question for you about uh, one of the most interesting chapters in your book that's near and dear to the heart of, of many of us in America. Larry, what do you have? 
Right. Hi, Nancy. Uh, just first of all, I'm a huge fan of yours, and my daughter is a huge, huge fan of all your work. Just wanted to get that out. But uh, Nancy, this great book that you just wrote, Don't Be a Victim, Fighting Back Against America's Crime Wave. I have this question. Uh, you've written this wonderful book on how to avoid being a victim, but reports are that gun sales are way up as a result of all the riots that have been happening uh, to many of our cities throughout the summer. And I just wanted to get a quick take. What are your views on the Second Amendment? Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes. That's right. That's right. You know, God has uniquely equipped you for doing exactly what you're doing today. I don't know of anyone who's had more experience, both personally and professionally, that absolutely makes you a credible authoritarian voice on so many of these very important societal issues. Some of the points you just made, I mean, you can imagine people need to be hearing those points on the floor of Congress. That's very important, really perspective, looking at some of these issues. Yeah, along with many others, no, no doubt. Yeah. Well, I think that you also bring up a good point that, you know, you, you really framed the issue, but if they were to take it up, they would have done so so long ago that would have so many more solutions than we do. And unfortunately, there's just too many more shootings and talk and stockpiling weapons and not enough way to, to track them. So I think that's all at absolutely fair points. So that was one of the, the chapters that uh, Larry liked, um, although we both liked all of them. I have to say, not that I'm in involved in this, who has the time, but the internet dating chapter was very curious to me. It was 
fascinating um, because, you know, sometimes you quote my book, Red Flags, on your show, and that there's a lot of that in there is how do you know when you have such limited access to someone? What, are, what have you seen in your career that are the biggest red flags that you can tell in a venue designed for people to put their best foot forward like internet dating? Oh, no problem. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, no, that's <laughs> those are great points. You know, I'm going to ask our producer for 30 more seconds because I want to end with one question, Nancy, about internet dating that I get asked more than any other. Is it ever okay, or should you overlook the fact that a potential suitor? has lied about his or her age. Is that a big deal? Amen. Amen. Nancy, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Where is the best place for our listeners to find out more about you? I know you're all over the internet. Everybody knows who you are, but just in case they want to buy this next, this wonderful book you just wrote. Yes. Easy. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nancy, for taking the time to join us today. Thank you, you, you are listening to, yes, thank you. And thank you to our listeners. You're listening to Today with Dr. Wendy. Please join us next week and God bless you. Have a great one.